I'm Jennifer Bain, a partner at Berardi Immigration Law. Although we're in the year 2018, we are now working with employers to prepare their H-1B cap filings for the government's fiscal year of 2019. These cap filings must be filed the first week of April this year. Since the rollout of President Trump's Buy American, Hire American executive order, which aims to protect U.S. workers, we have seen increasing scrutiny in the H-1B category. First, we've seen a much higher level of issued requests for evidence, or RFEs. These RFEs cause processing delays and have made the overall adjudication environment much more difficult for H-1B petitions. One of the issues USCIS has raised is whether or not a position qualifies as a specialty occupation. An H-1B specialty occupation is generally defined as a position which requires the candidate to hold a minimum of a bachelor's degree or higher. One of the categories that USCIS says no longer generally qualifies for the H-1B category is computer programmers. We work closely with an employer to look at the position's minimum requirements to ensure that the H-1B category is an appropriate fit. Another issue USCIS has raised is the payment of entry-level wages to an H-1B worker. USCIS maintains that entry-level wages undercut whether a position is qualified as a specialty occupation. We work with employers to look at the employer's past hiring practices, wages paid to employees in similarly situated positions within the company, wage surveys for the area that the foreign national is going to be working in, and the job's minimum requirements to determine that the salary being proposed is an appropriate fit in the H-1B context. Another issue that USCIS is bringing up is whether or not the foreign national has the proper experience and a degree to perform the requirements for the H-1B position. When the degree or experience is unrelated to the job position being offered, USCIS claims that it may not be an appropriate fit as a specialty occupation or that the beneficiary doesn't have the proper credentials to do the role. To get ahead of this issue, we generally obtain expert opinion evaluation letters and again, look at the employer's past hiring practices. USCIS is also taking a closer look at foreign nationals who are in F1 status and are recent graduates or in practical training. With these petitions, we always include evidence that the foreign national student has been maintaining proper F1 status. Finally, for non-CAP cases, USCIS has said that they will no longer give deference to previous approvals even if it's the same foreign national working in the same position for the same foreign company. This has made the adjudication environment extremely difficult for employers who are looking to obtain H-1B extensions and renewals for their employees. As we're coming into the H-1B cap season, the pressure is really on. USCIS has made a tougher adjudication environment for H-1B cases overall, especially following President Trump's executive order of Buy American, Hire American. We suggest that you work with a professional attorney at Berardi Immigration Law to prepare your H-1B filing. If you're interested in our services, please give us a call. We'd love to work with you.